One of the most common reasons why people buy a brand new smartphone is because their current device is not performing as well as it used to. This is generally a slow and gradual process that many people don't notice at first, but after a few years we begin to see that even the most basic tasks are taking longer than expected to complete. As we install new over-the-air updates, the operating system itself becomes more demanding in terms of the hardware required to complete said tasks. This also happens very slowly whenever we install the latest update to the applications and games that we have installed on our device. After a couple of years, your favorite apps need to compete to stay relevant, and in doing so, usually end up adding in features and changes which reduce performance on this aging hardware. So in today's video, I want to show you two developer option settings that you can change that will help improve the overall user experience of Android on very old smartphones and tablets. So whether you just can't afford a new device or maybe you really like the one you have so much that you just don't want to upgrade. Over time, Android can slow to a crawl and make it miserable to use due to all of the lag and stuttering that you see. Thankfully, Android comes with some customization options that we can find in a hidden menu within the settings app that can help alleviate some of these issues that we've begun to notice. But before we begin, we need to have a developer node enabled on our device. We can see this hidden developer options menu within the settings app because I have previously enabled this feature on this device. But if this is something you haven't done before, be sure to check the video description below as I'll be linking to some previous guides that are able to help you get caught up to speed so that you can find this hidden developer options menu. So once enabled, we're gonna go into the developer options page, and then we want to scroll almost all the way to the bottom. You're gonna to wanna to look for the apps section, because within there, we're gonna find this option labeled background process limit. So we're gonna select this option and for starters, I recommend you set at most four processes. This will prevent more than four apps from being stored cached in memory. This will not prevent your phone from running important services in the background, such as Gmail or messages. Instead, it's just going to help by preventing your phone from being overloaded with cached data so that your phone or tablet doesn't have to do so much rearranging when it comes to opening and closing apps after you've hit your hardware limit. Now, if you've noticed this does not really do too much, you can come back in here and set it to two or even three. But I've found that setting this limit to four is a good balance between adding in some performance and not limiting your phone too much. Now, after that's done, the next thing I would recommend for those who have an old Android smartphone or tablet is to reduce or completely disable the animations. So from here, we can scroll up a little bit. You should see a section labeled drawing and in there we have three different settings related to animation. You're going to want to go in here for the window animation scale option, tap it, and set it to either 0.5 or even better, eliminate it completely by setting this option to off. We're going to do the same to the transition animation scale. Again, we can set it to 0.5 or completely eliminate it by setting it to off. 
And the same for the animator duration scale. Again, set it to 0.5 or off. It takes both CPU and GPU cycles in order to display and animate these animations. So by turning these off, or again, at the very least, setting them to 0.5, we are reducing the work that our CPU and GPU has to do in order to show those animations. Not only will this make your phone seem faster by not having to display an animation before going to the next page, but again, it will also alleviate some of the CPU and GPU cycles that are required in order to animate and display these options. I know how it can be to want to use an Android smartphone longer than it's recommended. I really loved the form factor of my Galaxy Note 10 smartphone and wanted to keep using it longer than it was viable due to performance related issues. But changes like these can help increase the longevity of your smartphone by bringing up the performance to what it was when you first opened it out of the box.